They say it's all on my head, I still feel the pain Every time it's cold and every time it rain Feel like ice water running through my veins Since the day I got hit, I ain't been the same See my dog die, they blew out his brains All on the window, feel that like window pane Had to suck it up and told it to the game Glizzy on my hip, I'm standing on my name I'm a soul Whoa, what up people? Back for another one, yeah man Uh, to today I wanna tell y'all About the time when I almost got stranded in Appaloosa, you hear me? I said I was gonna uh, talk about this, you hear me? I was sitting there thinking about what I was gonna talk about, and I said, I'm gonna talk about that, you hear me? So this here about the time when I got stranded in Appaloosa, you hear me? I think I was, uh, uh, I think I was about like 17, or uh, just made 18, something like that. I was probably about 17, or just made 18, you hear me? And, uh, I was running with um this back when nigga was running on Pelmyra and all that shit like that, you hear me? But anyway, let me get into the story. So I was running uh with my brother with a female that my brother uh fucked with, you hear me? That was like one of his little side pieces or whatever like that, you hear me? And I'ma try not to say her name in this story, you hear me? for uh, different reasons because I gotta talk about her in another story you hear me? so uh, I'm gonna try not to uh, include her name in this but uh, like I said it was my brother little side piece or whatever you hear me and um, she had introduced me to her cousin her cousin named Kat you hear me she was uh, originally from out the AWOL but she had moved to Appaloosa or whatever you did so uh She had came down here, and um, she had came down here. It was like she really came down here to get her kids, but you know, you know, we have second lines for people who not from New Orleans, but y'all know we have them second lines like every Sunday or whatever. You hear me? And so uh, she had went to the second line or whatever. You know, when you at them second lines, you getting loaded, you getting drunk, and all that type of shit is popping out there, whatever. You hear me? And so, uh, I never really was a fan uh, of second lines and all that type of shit. Cause you know, that's how you get bust up when you when you out here and you running and you in the shit. That's a quick way to get bust up, slipping at the second lines. You hear me? So, I wasn't really a fan of the second lines, but I had then went out there with her and uh, I got introduced to Cat. And so, like you know. How they be saying we hit it off or whatever. You did. She wanted to fuck with a young nigga. She was older than me. You know, probably like uh, I think she was probably about 24, maybe 25, something like that or whatever. But uh, we went to fucking around or whatever. You know, one thing led to another, and uh, I was supposed to go back out to Appaloosa with her or whatever. And uh, girl was like, you know. You gonna come out here with me and all that shit like that, you hear me? Cause like I said, it's her cousin. And so I'm like, yeah, fuck, fuck that, I'm coming, you hear me? Cause the whole time now, I got this chick that I'm fucking with and she still Nagadish. Like that's, uh, I, I hope I'm saying that right, it's Nagadish, like Nagadish, Louisiana. It's like, uh, it's not too far from like Texas and shit. It's like on that borderline, close to that borderline, like going to Texas or whatever, you hear me? And um, what the fuck is the girl name? Uh, I forgot what girl name it was like Sierra, CC, something like that. I think I, I, I think I used to call her CC or something like that. We had like these nicknames for each other. Like I think, I, like I said, I think I call her CC, but I know remember she used to call me T Weezy, cause this was back then when I had my long dreads and shit like that. You hear me? And uh, how I had met her, I met her like one time in person and then you know she had went back to Nagadish and we were talking on the phone and shit like that and she like on the phone I sound like uh Lil Wayne Weezy or whatever so you know and back then like like I said uh I think I, I think I expressed this in another uh video but I didn't never want no reputation I never really wanted no name in the streets or whatever, so I tell people fake names. Like I, I got a whole lot of names or aliases that I go by. All right, and so uh, when she had asked my name, I told her T Weezy. You hear me? And so uh, 
that's what she called me, you dig? And so now, it was planned for me to go out there and see her or whatever so we could do our thing, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so I'm like, shit, if I go out there to Opelousas, you hear me? I'm right there. I ain't too far from negative, so you did. That was the plan. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going or whatever, you hear me? So, uh, girl asking my brother, like, man, you gonna come out there with us or whatever like that? Your little brother gone, won't you come with us or whatever, you hear me? He like, no, he ain't gone, you hear me? He want to stay in the city and do his thing or whatever. Like, he got other, you know, little, you know, little, uh, females he, he fuck with or whatever like that. So he like, he ain't gone or whatever, you hear me? And so, as a matter of fact, I ain't gonna tell that part because that'll be kind of ruining the next, the other story that I wanna get to about her, about his side chick. So anyway, we uh go to pick up her, uh, her kids or whatever, you hear me? Like this the day we supposed to leave, to go out there or whatever, you dig? So we go to pick up her kids and um, her baby daddy, like, now this, this, her baby daddy was a nigga that, I ain't gonna say we was cool or whatever, but we knew, I, I knew the, I knew the nigga, you hear me? And, uh, I had respect for the nigga, so in that, in that case, I'm not gonna say his name either, you hear me? Cause he is deceased now, or whatever. So I'm not gonna say his name, but, uh, I had knew the nigga, so, like, we pull up, he was out the Ville, you hear me? We pull up, uh, to the Ville and the project or whatever. We get our kids and uh, sh we shoot out. You hear me? We hit the road. You dig? And we uh, we riding out there to Opelousas or whatever like that. And so uh, I ain't know she had stayed in the project in Opelousas, like you know. But them out of town, like you know, them out of town projects, it don't really be like a project. You dig? But, you know, you can see it's a project, but it's like, I'm so used to the city project, you know, it's like two, three stories and shit like that. But in uh, the country, it'd be like, you know, one story, you know, one story, one, you know, there's no upstairs, downstairs and shit, no hallways and none of that in their projects, you know what I mean? It just look like some low income apartments or whatever, you did. They got central air and heat and all that type of shit, you know what I mean? But like I said, you can see it's a project. So, uh, we get out there. We kicking it, we having a cool time and all that type of shit. But uh my girl work though, you did girl work. And um the my uh brother side chick, her sister, her like I think it was like her half sister, like like I think it was her daddy child, not uh her mama child, but it was her daddy child, so it was like her half sister, but you know it's her sister or whatever, you hear me? She stayed out there too. And so, uh, you know, when girl went to work the first night or whatever, I meet her sister or whatever like that, you hear me? I'm starting to meet different niggas out there and shit like that. So, you know, I'm kind of making myself at home, like, on some shit, you hear me? I'm laid up in her house and shit like that, like, you hear me? I'm the king of the castle now, you dig? And, uh... At, at one point in time, I kind of started feeling like, man, this this, this motherfucker got me as a babysitter on some shit, you hear me? Because I'm standing there with the kids and shit like that, you dig? And so, uh, me and girl, we were real cool. Like, we were real cool on some shit. Like, she used to tell me different shit about, like, different niggas she was fucking with, you dig? And while she was fucking with my brother... And, like, it wasn't no big deal to me because, like I said, he wasn't really, uh, like, loving her like that. But, you know, little did I know. But, like I said, that's going that's a whole nother story, though. But she will tell me different shit. So, you know, I was telling her I got this little chick that I'm trying to go fuck with. You hear me? And so, uh, she was like, all right, I'm going to watch the kids or whatever like that. So, I get the call. I drop off to work or whatever. And, uh... I can't remember why I didn't have my phone, why I didn't have a phone, son. Like, I, I was thinking about that, like, the whole day, why I didn't have my phone, you hear me? But whatever the reason was, I didn't have uh, my phone. So she gave me her phone because she was like, uh, she could call me from the job if she, you know, need to get in touch with me or whatever. But she like, I don't want to leave you without no phone, you hear me? And uh, I got her call and shit like that. So... 
I drop off to work. She had worked at this little Domino's out there, or whatever. And uh, I go back to the project. You did. And uh, I get her. Uh, I get the kids. And I bring her. I bring them by her um, her cousin. You hear me? By her cousin, cause she was staying with her sister. Like she was like she didn't want to, you know, intrude on what we had going on when we be in there. So you know, she would stay by her sister or whatever like that. You hear me? So I bring the kids over there, whatever, and I shoot out. I make my way to Natchitoches or whatever and hook up with girl. You dig? So uh, we do us or whatever like that. And I make my way back on down, you hear me? So when I make when I get back, I stop at a little stool, I get some gauze, and uh I got a little liquor or whatever like that, you hear me? Cause back then I, I, I used to drink. I'm talking about I used to drink my ass off. Now these days, yeah, I can't drink like that, you hear me? So I had got some gauze, cause I had a little weed, and I had some pills. So I pop them pills, cause I'm timing it when she gonna make it home, you hear me? So I know like we gonna do our thing, you did. So uh she come home, like she had got like a coworker or something like that to bring her. You hear me? She was like, I was calling you or whatever like that. And I ain't answer the phone or whatever. And I'm like, damn, you was or whatever, like I ain't noticed or whatever, but you know, I was with girls, so yeah, I ain't gonna answer the phone. So uh she like she had got a coworker to run her over there to check on me and I, like it's like I had made it there in the nick of time. So I told her I just went to the store that I probably was sleep when you called. But I'm like I was at the store and I had got some gauze and all that, you know what I'm saying? So she like, oh alright, well shit. I'm about to be getting off in a little bit. So she take the phone, right? So by her taking the phone, you know, like I didn't expect her to come home that fast, you know, that earlier or that time she came home. I didn't expect her to come home because I knew what time she got off. So she take the phone because she like, well, I know you're going to be in here. I ain't I ain't going to be that long. I get off in like an hour or two or whatever like that. So she took the phone or whatever. So like I said, I ain't have no time to erase the uh, numbers. You dig? Girl number or whatever. So uh, when she leave and go back to work, with the phone, and she take the car and all that, she let her, you know, the co-worker drop her off, she took her car now, she took the car and the phone, you hear me, so she gone, so I'm in the house, I'm cooling, that when I say fuck that, I'm going down the street by, uh, by, uh, my brother, little side chick sister, so I go down there, we blowing and shit like that, you hear me, and so, uh, that's when probably about 30 minutes to an hour later, she called and girl phone and uh, asked to talk to me or whatever. So, you know, I get on the phone and she like, uh, meet me by the house or whatever. So I go in and meet up by the house, right? And when she pull up, it's like her demeanor and everything just kind of, you know, changed. I'm talking about she was like, you hear me? At first she was real cool, real sweet on a nigga, you did. So when she pull up, she kind of looking like, you can see like she kind of like disgusted with me on some shit. I'm like, what the fuck? You hear me? In my mind, I'm puzzled. I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm not thinking, like, you know, nothing of it. I'm thinking maybe she had a bad, something happened at work. She had a bad day at work or something like that or whatever. So, you know, girl come down there or whatever. When I had, uh, when she asked me to come down there, girl that came with me or whatever, because, you know, she bringing the kids. And so, um, she asked her to leave, you know She asked her to take the kids with her or whatever. So I'm really like, what the fuck going on? Because the vibe ain't like we, uh, like, you know, take the kids. I'm trying to, you know, fuck my nigga or nothing like that. The vibe something else, you know hear I me? Mean? So she, she taking off her work clothes or whatever. And she just keep on, like, you know, you know how a motherfucker be probably take off her shirt. Walk from the bedroom to the living room, cause I'm sitting in the living room, you hear me? So, and she walking all, walking back and forth, taking off pieces of clothing, and she asking different questions every time she come in, like, well, what you was doing all day, or whatever like that, you hear me? Come back in, you had went somewhere, or whatever, like, you know, and you know, I'm, I'm kinda, like, I'm trying to, like, figure out, like, she trying to pick my brain or something, she knows something, what the fuck, you hear me? So I'm like, you know, I told you I went to the store and I've been by, uh, you know, by a girl's sister house or whatever, you did. 
I was, I've been chilling with her or whatever, you know? So she like, well, all right, yeah. So she go take a bath, all that shit, you know? She come back out with the, you know, some nice little, you did. Sleep clothes or whatever, very revealing, you know? So now I'm like, okay, maybe I was tripping, maybe I was reading the vibe wrong. And she really did, I don't know. So uh, she asked about the liquor I bought, so she go to drink and that shit, you know? And so that's when she come out and she, boom, she asked, uh, she asked me who is the girl, like who the CC girl is or whatever. So I'm like, whoa, like you did, like how you know about her, you hear me? Automatically, I go to thinking that her cousin and told her what's up, you hear me? But then I'm like, no, she wouldn't do that, man. So she, I, don't, I try to lie about it and tell her, you know, that's my uh, a little partner I had called her. She's just my little female friend or whatever. She like, fuck that. She did like flash out, you hear me? Like, fuck that. That ain't no fucking female friend because I talked to the girl. The girl called me back while I'm at work. You got to know I'm surprised. Cause I'm like, who the fuck is this calling my phone or whatever like that? So I answered the phone and she asked for some tea weed. So I'm like, well, you got the wrong number. And she like, what? I ain't got no wrong number. I was just with him and all this. So I'm like, oh, Lord. I'm like, man, this girl ain't got me busted. I'm like, it did. Like, I don't know if she knew what she was doing, like she did it intentionally or what, but I'm like, man, you got me busted, man. Fuck, like, you hear me? So, girl, going off or whatever, like, you hear me? She like, man, I bring you down here and I'm really fucking with you and all this and you fucking with a bitch behind my back and all that type of shit. All y'all niggas the same and all this and I'm just like, man, you serious? Because I'm trying to see what this going to lead up to, you hear me? So, that's when she kind of, uh, like, go back in the room. And then she come back because I didn't rule the golf. So now she uh, asked to hit the weed or whatever. So she's smoking or whatever like that. And it's like she kind of calmed down. Like it was like some some bipolar type shit. You know? She just like switched the whole mood up. So she uh she like, you know what? I'm tripping. I'm tripping because uh, you ain't my old man. You dig? And I ain't your old lady. And so fuck. If I'm doing me, you can't get mad and all this. So I'm like, like really, that's that's the truth. Fuck, you hear me? In hindsight, yeah, I was wrong. But, you know, at that time, I'm like, fuck, we really ain't no, we ain't in no relationship, you hear me? Like, we just fucking or whatever like that, you hear me? But in, in her mind, it's like, it's more than that. Because, like, she didn't introduce me to her kids and all that. But I never asked for it to go that far, me. It did. Like I said, I'm young. I'm just having fun, <clears throat> you hear me? So, uh, she like you dig? So, yeah, we just friends or whatever like that. But, uh, yeah, friends can't sleep in my bed or whatever. And matter of fact, you know what? You can get out of my house. Like, oh, I'm like, what? Like, you hear me? So, now nah, I'm like, fucked up with it. Like, what you mean I can get out of your house? Like, man, you brought me out here, son. She like, well, and what? Like, you, you, you grown. You get your, uh, self back to New Orleans and all this. Uh, like, you ever just get out of my house or whatever. So uh, she called her cousin to bring the kids back or whatever. And uh, when she come uh, through the door, she like, yeah, you can take your little friend with you or whatever. And so she like, what you mean? What's going on, bitch? Or whatever. She like, nothing. You, you know, fuck. I got something to do. You can take him with you or whatever. So she trying to tell her like, man, you wrong for that, man. You brought that dude out here or whatever. So she uh, tell her about the chick or whatever like that, you know, like he fucking around with another bitch while he fucking with me, all this shit like that. So she like, girl, you, you can't get mad and all this shit today. So she tell both of us go, you know, like fuck both of us, so boom. We go by her sister and shit, you know, and uh, we go by her sister and we chilling out that night or whatever, you know. Matter of fact, cause damn son, it's, it's like this part of the story is the is a is another story that I want to tell, you hear me? And it's like, but it's like it's hard for me to want to skip over this part, you hear me? But I gotta skip over this part cause this a whole another story in its own. You dig of what happened when we went back by our sister, but uh, I'm gonna skip over that part and I'm gonna get to so the next day, you hear me? I guess after she must have thought about it, whatever or whatever you did. We go to the little club in Appaloosas. We go to this little club and uh, we had got some X pills or whatever. I'm talking about these pills, fire. I'm like, damn. I'm talking about them bitches so fire. When we in the club, they only play that like, they play like that Baton Rouge music. That was the first time I ever heard that uh, Jigga Juice shit. 
and that uh other song that song where your boy be like i came in the club with a nine on me and uh something like it's about to go i'm on that liquor bitch i'm about to whip a bitch i'm on that liquor bitch that's the song i forgot who sang that song but I remember they had played them two songs and man I'm in that bitch bucking and everybody in that bitch bucking it sound like the fucking like everybody about to fall through the float so like we had us a good time that night or whatever so uh you know that night we go back and she let the nigga hit or whatever so I guess I got back on her good side or whatever you did so now like I'm back in the house or whatever and uh like I said I guess she didn't you know calm down or whatever got back to reality so uh, she get a, a rental, cause now she like it's the it's like the next Sunday now. I've been out there a whole week, you hear I me? Mean? So now it's like the next Sunday. So she like she wanna go to New Orleans for the uh, second line or whatever. So she rent this little F one fifty. Boom, nigga hit the highway. You hear I me? Mean? I'm talking about I'm flying, cause I don't I'm like I'm trying to hurry and get back to the city or at least as close as I could to the city before this motherfucker have a mood swing or some shit like that. You hear I me? Mean? So fuck. I'm flying back to the city. Man, nigga get pulled over by uh, a state trooper. I get a ticket for the speed or whatever like that. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Just let me get back to the city, you hear me? Got back to the city and got my ass away from her. And this motherfucker got all emotional on a nigga talking about like, what you, what you don't like me and what you, man, I'm just like, I'm back in the city now, so I'm so comfortable to see what I gotta see. Man, I look at her like, don't like you. I'm like, my nigga, you try to put me out, son. Like, leave me stranded, son. And she like, you hear me? Yeah, because I was, you know, I was in my feelings and all that. Now, I said I'm sorry and all that shit like that, man. I'm like, man, look, I'm good. Like, we cool. You know, if I see you, it's cool or whatever. We can do whatever. But, man, as far as me, like, you hear me? I ain't never coming back out there by you. None of that shit. You can forget that, you hear me? And then on top of that, like, I already really, uh, didn't really like fucking with her off the fact of who her baby daddy was, you hear me? Because, like I see, I knew dude and had respect for dudes, you hear me? He was a real nigga, you hear me? And so, like, I didn't want to fuck with that, you hear me? Being around her kids and shit like that, you hear me? It, it kind of, it give me that, like, snake vibe like it did, because I, I, you know, I done been in this nigga face and probably been in this nigga, you know, like, and I'm fucking with your baby mama type shit, so I already, you know, so it was just like, nah, we gonna, we gonna shut that shit down, you hear me? But yeah, man, that's how I almost got stranded in Appaloosa, you hear me? Now, like I said, next time I come back, I'm gonna tell y'all about what happened when, uh, went by the sister house, you hear me? I'm out, culture. Chasing that bag, boy, I'm on to come up, don't play with me, cause you gon' get done up You better listen when I tell you, don't run up, it's you and me, so I'm keeping my gun up Free to kill, educate, not from front up, real nigga, so I gotta stay one up All that love